Hey everyone, it's me, Phil, from The Week in Doubt. I'm back once again to bring you one of those short videos I said I wanted to try to get out this weekend. I kept hearing about this story at work yesterday, and I just knew I had to cover it. It has to do with a ghost sighting at a local supermarket. And this supermarket is really close to me. I've driven by it countless times. It's in the nearby town of Wilmington, Mass. And I usually drive by it when I'm on my way to pick up building supplies for work. I've even gone into it a few times, so I know it fairly well. And this same chain of stores has a location that's even closer to me that I shop at all the time. The name of the chain is Demoulas Market Basket, and Demoulas has to be one of the most unappetizing names for a supermarket chain, but it's actually a pretty cool store. It's a pretty cheap place to shop at, which makes it a really popular local chain. And you guys know me, skeptic, don't believe in the paranormal, but I just think these stories are so fun to cover, and even though I don't believe in the paranormal, I'm nevertheless fascinated by this stuff, so I just couldn't resist. There's something spooky at a supermarket north of Boston. Some shoppers claim there might be a poltergeist in the produce. Several people, in fact, say they have seen a spirit at the market basket in Wilmington. So we wondered, could we see it? Ghostbuster Christina Rex set out to find the truth about a grocery store phantom. So what do you guys think? You think WBZ4 hair is going to offer us some definitive proof of the afterlife? Uh, nah, I wouldn't count on it, but here we go. Some say grocery shopping is scary enough. Look at that, sweet baby Ray's. The sauce is the boss. <laughs> I love that stuff. If the rumors are true, it makes this market basket a lot more interesting. And, and they said something about uh, how grocery shopping is supposedly scary enough. And you know what's funny? Uh, when I was younger and my social anxiety was much worse, it was actually a chore for me to go out and do things like grocery shopping. But now I actually love grocery shopping. I just find it kind of relaxing, going through the aisles at my own pace, looking at all the different products. Yeah, something about it uh, I actually like now. But yeah, it used to be pretty nerve-wracking back when I was wrestling with uh, pretty severe social anxiety back in the day. At the Wilmington Market Basket, while you hunt for groceries, a ghost may haunt the store. People who have supposedly seen the wow. ghost say she's a young woman. With a Am I allowed to say it? But uh, that news lady is pretty easy on the eyes. Light skin, long dark hair, dressed in traditional Victorian garb. They see her in the aisle and then they turn around to see if she's... What happened? She disappeared. And she's gone. There's a ghost in the <laughs> store. The rumors are all over town. I all these market basket locations look the same. I'm seeing all the stuff I always buy, uh, carrots in that same packaging, those cuties or whatever they are, the little clementine uh, oranges. Young female spooky specter seen by a handful of scared shoppers. No, I've you... never seen a ghost. Velveeta, <laughs> product placement. Brianna had her eyes peeled for any moving shopping carts, maybe missing a driver. And she says she'll be brave in the face of fear. No, they don't do anything. <laughs> they just, like, go right through you. Unless they're like uh, the apparitions in what was that movie, 13 Ghosts. Could those ones actually rip people apart? So uh, I think Shannon Elizabeth was in that one. Now, of course, any ghost story comes with its non-believers. But what would a so-called ghost be doing at a Massachusetts grocery store? <laughs> Maybe she just wanted some booberries. Uh, or was she headed to the frozen food puns. aisle for some ice cream? No. Okay, okay, enough with the puns. Either way, the rumors are fun for the kids. Have you told the kids about it? I have. I'm trying to scare them right now. It's not working. But for adults... Yeah, that would pretty much be my accent when I'm not struggling with all my might to round off my R's. That's pretty much what we sound like in these parts. Bolts. I'm not <laughs> afraid of no ghosts. Hmm. Looks to me like he's running away. In Wilmington, Christina Rex, WBZ News. So a handful of people supposedly all saw the same apparition, and this thing was so convincing that the people were actually shook or frightened. I mean, is there anything they can offer us other than anecdotal evidence? Uh, I'm not going to hold my breath. And once again, maybe I sound like I'm being a party pooper. I hate the phrase party pooper. I feel weird saying it now. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, uh, you know what I'm trying to say. I'm not trying to rain on anyone's parade here. I actually think this is a really fun story, and that's why I'm covering it. But do I actually think there's a ghost in the market basket? No, I don't.
In fairness, I think even the news reporters here seem to know that's just a fluff piece. They're not actually offering any proof of life after death or the existence of apparitions or anything, but just one of those stories, you know, they're probably just having fun with it, and they know obviously they're talking about ghosts, so it's gonna grab attention, so I don't blame them for covering it, and it drew me in. And yeah, so I couldn't resist it. And man, that store is so close to me, probably about 10 minutes or so, even with traffic via the back roads. And like I said, I'm constantly driving by it on my way to pick up building materials for my family's business. So yeah, pretty crazy. I got a kick out of that. Uh, all right, so there's another one of those short stories. <laughs> 